Hello everyone! On this video I'm going to show you how to create and edit text on Gravity Designer. The text tool is located here on the toolbar. To insert and edit text, just click with the tool on the canvas and this will create a single line text box. After creating a text box, the highlighted text indicates that you just need to type to edit this text to create your own. After you are done typing, just click outside the text box to exit the editing mode. To enter this mode again, press enter or double click on the text. You can also click and drag to create the text box with defined dimensions. With the text selected, you can see the properties on the right panel. First is the color picker, where you can change the text's color. The font can be changed here, where you can choose between web and imported fonts, and also your system fonts on the desktop version. Here is also where you can change the font weight and size. Gravit has some decoration options like bold and italic, underline and strike through. For paragraphs, you can change alignment here, as well as the alignment of the text inside the text box. Here you can change the character, word and line spacing. On sizing, you can define how the text content will fit the text box. Auto will resize the box to fit the text and it will be in fix when you define another size of width or height for the text box. On the script options you can find the orientation of the text, which is a great feature for non-Latin characters, and the text script for when non-Latin fonts like Cyrillic or Greek are being used. If you check the scale font on resizing, the size of the text will change when resizing the text box. If this is not checked, font size will be the same when resizing the text box. Here you can find the advanced text properties with some extra tools. First, there is the typography options with subscript, superscript, ligatures and fractions. Transform has some basic text transformations like uppercase, capitalize, lowercase and all caps. On paragraph, Gravit has some spacing options like indent and spacing after. Last but not least, you can add text to a path and create curvy text. To do that, create a path or a shape to which the text will be applied. Create your text, then select both and click right and attach text to path. Another method is clicking on a path while the text tool is selected. When hovering the path with the text tool, wait until you see the pink outline and then click. The text will start from the point where you clicked. You can drag the orange anchor to move the text along the path. The text on a path has unique properties under the appearance menu when selected. By default, text is positioned on the outside of the path and the outside switch changes it to the inside. The reverse switch changes the direction of the attached path and the distance one changes the distance of the text from the path. This value can be negative. You can then set the base shape to be invisible. You can also detach the text from a path using modify, path and detach text from path. That's all for this video, I hope you liked it. Check our other tutorials and see you on the next one.